Spartacus, Harley Dias. Background info about Spartacus. Spartacus was a Thracian gladiator who didn't really have any family because he was captured and sold into a school for gladiator training. He was the major slave who uprose against the Roman Republic. He thought that the way people of Roman Republic viewed slavery was wrong. He escaped the gladiator school with 70 or more people to change the way they thought about slavery. Crixus. Spartacus. What law or social norm did Spartacus break and why? He was a slave leader who escaped in 73 BC, BCE, along with Gauls, who were Crixus, Canicus, Castus, and Enomaus, and other 70 or more people who joined him. Uprising against Rome in war called the Third Servile War, or the Gladiators' War. The reason he ran away was because he was a slave for Rome and other were too. Consequences for Spartacus' actions The consequence for his action was death. He attacked the Roman Republic for the first time and with his slave army, so Rome didn't think that they had a powerful army, so he did not send his first line army or his most powerful army. He sent one of his weaker armies. After that he saw that Spartacus's army outmaneuvered his army and defeated them. More slaves joined Spartacus and it was believed that their army was 90,000-120,000 strong. Site 4. One of his Gauls, Crixus took 30,000 man and attacked by himself and his army was defeated and Crixus was killed. Then Spartacus' army was outnumbered. So he got defeated and he got killed, but they never found his body. My thoughts slash opinion. My thoughts on what he did, is that I agree with his choice, because he was fighting for his freedom and other slaves' freedom. If Crixus didn't go battle by himself maybe they could have won their war, but I think he did the right thing to fight for his freedom. He tried to change the way they thought of slavery and he chose to fight and do what is right.